it seems like everyone has like a cough or cold, flu-like symptoms at the moment, doesn't it? There's a lot around. But what if one of the most powerful ways to dodge the winter cold isn't a supplement or a magic remedy, but something you're already doing every night or trying to? So sleep might sound like a boring answer, yet the evidence is honestly really fascinating. And it might explain why some people seem to kind of dodge every single cold while others just get everyone. So I read a brilliant study where researchers exposed some people to common cold virus and the people who slept fewer than seven hours a night were nearly three times more likely to get ill than those getting eight hours or more. And this held up even when they um, accounted for variables like age, stress, exercise, alcohol and weight. And even more interesting, it wasn't just the amount of sleep that mattered. People whose sleep was broken or poor quality had an even higher risk with up to five and a half times greater chance of developing cold symptoms. That's a massive difference, isn't it? So this is thought to be because when you sleep, your immune system is busy. It is working hard producing things called cytokines and building the cells and antibodies that help you fight off infections. So if you're not getting enough good quality rest, you're simply not making enough of these like defenders and it leaves the door wide open for viruses. So what can you do? I know loads of you have sleep problems. You're probably thinking, yeah, great. That'd be nice. But let's focus on what we can control. So even an extra 15 to 30 minutes a night can kind of help. So keep a regular bedtime, lower the lights an hour before bed, keep your room cool and try and keep gadgets out of your room. And a bedtime routine is far more powerful than people realise. Sleep is really your body's natural shield. So we should be making the most of it this winter. And actually, it isn't just about avoiding colds. Good sleep supports your mental health, your memory and your long-term health. So are you getting enough sleep? Let me know what you think.